so today's video is gonna go over how to properly comb out your baby's hair this is appropriate for many different hair textures but specifically if you have a baby who has hair such as savannah's in which it is very very tightly coiled it is curly when stretched out you can see um, how curly in fact it is actually you can even see here it's just a bunch a bunch a bunch of curls nice and thick and healthy hair and a lot of parents may not know how to properly comb the hair out so we're gonna go over that today so I know a lot of parents dread combing out their babies or child's hair but I swear it does not have to be a gruesome process for either of you so just pay attention to some of the things I'm going to show you in this video and hopefully it is helpful all right let's get started guys so generally I have Savannah's hair um, freshly washed doesn't mean that you have to wash the hair before combing it every time that's not really realistic especially if you're like me and you only wash your child's hair once a week um, you can go ahead and comb their hair out even if it has not just been washed but what I would recommend that is very important is the type of comb you are going to use so here I'm purposely using comb with these type of teeth um, it's not wide tooth and it's not like a very small tooth comb it's a medium size and I've used a spray bottle that does have water in it a minimal amount of water and a little bit of a moisturizer of my choice you can use coconut oil castor oil almond oil whatever mixture works in your child here for me specifically today I am using water mixed with the specific castor oil that I use in Savannah's hair so I'm just showing you here um, more close up there are a lot of curls in this head okay so what that means for me is I have to be very diligent and careful when I am combing her hair out so it is super 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 thick so the comb that I'm using is gonna work really well thick does not mean unmanageable thick also does not mean that you should not do nothing to the hair that's probably the worst thing that you could do in my opinion so anyway, let's go ahead and begin the combing out process. You at this point, again, should have a medium tooth type of comb that you're going to use to comb through as well as a spray bottle with some type of mixture. The mixture that I'm using is a minimal amount of water again with a specific type of castor oil and I go ahead and I do about three sprays per parted section. Um, real quick too you want to distract your child if you can so give them like a teething toy or something to preoccupy their mind so they're not getting in the way and paying attention to what you're doing. So what you see me doing here is super important, probably the most important part of this whole video. I am holding the very ends of the hair and I am combing out that part first. I'm taking my time. It takes a lot of patience to do this properly. So I would definitely recommend if you don't have patience, go ahead and get you some and um, do this process. So as you can see, I'm combing through the ends several times. And as the comb glides through easily through the end portions, I know I can gather more hair and make my way down. Down to the roots you really want to be diligent with this process because tender-headedness if you do have a child who's tender-headed um, this is what causes them the most pain when you're not combing out their hair properly if you choose to comb from the root first and down to the tips that is very painful for a child who is tender-headed or even a child who's not and they will remember that experience every time you go to do their hair so for the sake of um, your sanity as well as their scalp, please start with the ends and comb diligently through those ends. Add more product onto the ends if you're finding that the comb is not gliding through and continue to work your way down to the roots. Now afterwards to lock in the moisture, I go ahead and I just do a braid in their hair. You don't need to know how to cornrow to do this because this is not technically a cornrow. I'm just taking three strands and I'm braiding it and there's tutorials all on YouTube on how to do just basic um, braids like that. I do that to lock in the moisture so when it comes time for me to take this 
style out and I want her hair just to remain curly. It's easy to take out, it's not dry, and it looks really cute when it's styled. Here is one of the biggest tips after I do some type of protective style or if you choose not to do a protective style. Even so, after combing your child's hair out, go ahead, take some type of oil or moisturizer and rub it throughout their hair. After you've done that combing out process, it makes absolutely no sense to not put some type of moisturizing product in there because honestly let's face it you want the hair to remain moisturized and you don't want all of your hard work of combing out their hair so diligently to go to waste and truly when you go to comb their hair out again it will still have that moisture in it which will be very helpful for you when it's time to comb their hair out again i hope this information was helpful guys the most important thing to remember is to comb from the ends of the hair towards the root and not the other way around use some type of spray with water or oil and a medium tooth comb i hope this information was helpful guys thanks for watching